Hello everyone and welcome to my jumpineering tutorial. I'm Dantis or Hunter as many of you may know me. Let's get started. One of the main basics of jumpineering is moving your sentry to strategic points. The sentry needs to be in a spot that will allow you to sentry jump, but not only open to be destroyed. You can't really sentry jump if your sentry is blown up, you know? What I'm doing right now is one of the basic jumpineering techniques. It's what I like to call the bullet hop. It's an easy way to get to areas that don't need level 3 sentry rockets, but you can't get to otherwise without some sort of assistance. Make sure you're in the middle of the beam to properly do this kind of jumpineering, or you'll just fall down and lose some health. I suggest using a gunslinger if you're only planning to do bullet hops, as you have more health and the bullets do less damage. The other jump engineering technique is the actual sentry jump. Using the Wrangler, you can perform these jumps to reach points that previously were never available to any other class other than a soldier or the demo man. It's not much different from sticky or rocket jumping, it's just that you need to properly time it or you'll completely jump over the rockets and get nowhere, leaving you open to die if you're trying to get away. Position yourself properly over the rockets to adjust your jump. Much like sticky jumping, if you jump right on top of the explosion, You'll go very high, but not much horizontal. If you jump on the side of the explosion, you'll go much more horizontal than vertical. Use these to adjust your jump perfectly without losing too much health. Unlike sticky or rocket jumping, sentry jumping can be done from afar. Just make sure to timer right or you'll jump over the rockets. If you use it properly, jumping near and get to strategic points. Help you travel long distances, or short distances. Here are some useful jumps I found. I didn't want to put too many, as I didn't want to make this video more than 10 minutes long. On the last point of well, if someone is trying to attack your sentry from the upper hallway, you can simply sentry jump to get up there quickly and get your fleeing enemy if he isn't paying attention. Or, if you're on the offense and your team is very close to the last point, you set up a sentry jump to get to the top of the last point and attack your enemies from above. If you don't want to do that, you can just sentry jump up to the upper portal. Let's say that you're on the second to last point and the enemy team is rushing. If you have your sentry in the upper area, you can sentry jump to safety. You can also get up to here if your sentry is directly placed on the bottom level. On harvest, place your sentry in this area. You'll go to the edge of your rooftop and jump in here to the enemy's rooftop to kill unaware snipers. Sentry placement is also good as it can block enemies from trying to walk up the stairs to kill your snipers, like scouts. Another good thing about the sentry spot is that it can be used to also sentry jump back to your rooftop or down below. If your sentry is placed in this area, you could easily jump in here to the enemy rooftop. If your sentry is in the same spot, you could easily sentry jump to get to the health in case you need it. You'd also sentry jump on this side to the enemy's rooftop. Again, if your sentry is in the same spot, you could also sentry jump right here near the shed to take care of that are hiding behind the walls. If you're a more offensive jumping here, you'd use the gunslinger in this spot to attack snipers without losing too much health. If you are behind the control point, you could bullet hop to the rooftop of it. Place a quick distraction sentry while your team captures. This is a very popular spot on Badwater to place a sentry. Let's say that your sentry is down here, but your bros need help on top. But well, you could easily sentry jump up over the system, just in case they need it. Another popular sentry spot is right here. Again, you could easily sentry jump to the top if your, if your teammates need help. However, a not so well known spot that previously was available before the engineer update was this area. This is not so well known, you could place a sentry and it will take a couple of kills for the enemy team to notice. Teleporter going up. Something I forgot to mention was that before the round starts and you're on blue, you could place a sentry right here and you could upgrade it to level 3 before the round starts. It would be very helpful in jumping near and really early on in the game before the other people can notice you. Here's a quick sentry jump you can do at the beginning of the game. Just gotta be careful for sentries as you might be in their range. Now, I don't suggest you do this jump, but you could easily get to the upper area on blue team if you sentry jump right. Again, I don't suggest it as you might be wrangled by enemy sentries. 
If you're on a defense and you're at the final point of Badwater, I suggest you use this bullet hop to kill the enemy snipers that are sniping your teammates. Let's move on to Dust Bowl. In the beginning of the game, you can place the sentry right here before the game starts and have a couple of engineers help you to upgrade to level 3. You can't get it to level 3 if you're just by yourself. So again, have some Four, other engineers three, on your team help you upgrade two, before the game starts. One. I'm moving this. If you do get to level 3, however, this is a very good ambush spot for the red team that are attacking your first spawn enemy. Not only is it a good ambush spot, it's also a good jumpineering spot. I mess up the first time, but I nail it the second time and I easily get to their first point, ready to ambush. You also place the sixth sentry if you have enough time they don't notice you. Let's say that you capture the first point and you're pushing the enemy team back. You can move your sentry slightly out onto the open, and then you can sentry jump to this spot. A lot quicker than walking. A uh, not so useful spot is this one I found right here. I guess if you're if the enemy team is pushing back, you go up here for a quick getaway. Now I don't suggest this spot as there might be a lot of enemy sentries since it's the last point in the first area of Dust Bowl. But you can sentry jump to their spawn area if you're careful. On the first point of the second part of Dust Bowl, you could easily sentry jump to the point if your team is pushing. You can get to areas faster if you time your rockets correctly, like this. If you're on the last point of the second part of Dust Bowl, you can sentry jump to the last point very easily. Just watch out for sentries. This is a very popular spot to put your sentry. You're on the offense going to the first point of the last part of Dust Bowl. You can completely jump over to sentry fire and help cut the last point using jump and earring, like so. Oh! Nucleus is a very good spot for jumping here. You can put your sentry right behind the boxes outside of your spawn, and you can pretty much jump anywhere on the map. You can build a sentry right up here like me, and you have the whole battlefield in your view using a Wrangler. I suggest using a gunslinger here. You can bullet hop to the top of the map, and have the whole map in your sentry's view. If your sentry is behind the boxes, you can sentry jump to right near their spawn and put the sentry. If you have some revenge crits built up, you get sentry jump from behind the boxes right near their spawn. A good little spot for bullet hopping is right on the left side of your spawn. Here you can easily get right near their spawn and place down a quick sentry and rack up a little, quite a bit of kills. This spot is a bit tricky. Make sure your level 3 sentry can see you up here, and with a little practice, you can get this spot very easily. You can also have your sentries view the whole battlefield, which is very good. Sentry going up! This kind of jumping earring takes practice. But if you're quick enough, you can grab your sentry right as your sentry jump. This takes away the need to set up a dispenser Go on, and take the time to upgrade your sentry to level 3. Even if Yella makes it a cappella, I feel it's fresh, yo, I don't want to wait a minute. Cause it's known to give a fuck a brain damage, and brain damage on the mic don't manage. 